Bloatware, bloatware, bloatware and bloatware. Everywhere I look, there is bloatware. So, you want to know what is bloatware? Bloatware is the term for unwanted pre-installed software on a computer or device and has been around since the dawn of PCs. Bloatware began with OEMs installing software by default on their computers, aiming to both make money and provide consumers with additional software they might want. 30 plus years later, bloatware is still a problem. Well, today, debloating is on its way, so hit that subscribe button and give this video a huge like. So why is bloatware still a threat? Some companies add bloatware on their devices, which can make the end users susceptible to man-in-the-middle attacks. If bloatware isn't secure, it can put a PC at risk. All software installed on a PC must be kept up to date and secure, including bloatware. Like most PC problems, mobile devices are also susceptible to bloatware. How to detect bloatware? Often, bloatware is identified by performance degradation. For example, devices weighed down by bloatware can take a long time to boot up, have slowed reaction times or storage issues. Trialware is a common form of bloatware. Such software applications are included on devices for free, when they are purchased and work for a specific trial period until a license is purchased. Adware that pops up on websites, or on devices screens is another form of bloatware, as are system utilities and applications pre-installed on devices by manufacturers. Bloatware can be detected by end users, by looking through the installed applications and identifying any applications they did not install. How to remove bloatware For Windows, one option to ensure bloatware removal, is to use a PowerShell script. There are many tools out there doing this debloating job. I feel comfortable using PowerShell because it's simple, fast and straightforward. Using this command in PowerShell, you can review all application packages installed on a system. You can then use, remove apex package command to remove bloatware from all Windows 10 or 11 PCs, instead of configuring each machine individually. Or, you can also install Windows onto a virtual machine, and then configure Windows to remove any unwanted applications. You would then create a deployment image from the installation, and use it to install Windows. Which tool or software do you use to debloat a device? Let us know in the comments below. For the purposes of this video, we are going to use Windows to demonstrate the debloating process. So hit that subscribe button and give this video a huge like. It all starts with the installation of Windows. When you start installing Windows, you land on this page where you have to select language and currency format. Use the time and currency format drop down list and select English, World. Start installing Windows as normal. When you land on the first configuration page after installing Windows, you will see this screen. Nothing weird here as we have selected the world region. So we click on skip and continue installing Windows as normal. When you log into Windows for the first time, you will notice that the start menu is quite clean. That is because, during installation, we selected English, world. Another thing that you might notice is that Microsoft Store isn't working. To fix this, simply select your region or any region. Now, click start and go to all apps. You will see that apps like Camera or Clipchamp are still there. You can right click on them and click uninstall to uninstall any app you don't want. But there are apps that cannot be uninstalled like Windows Backup or your phone app. To remove unwanted apps that cannot be uninstalled simply using the uninstall button, you will have to use PowerShell. So, click start and type, PowerShell. Run it with administrator privileges. All commands used here will be pinned in the comments. Type this command, to list all application packages in a more friendly way. You will see the application name on the left side, and the application package full name on the right side. To remove any application package, simply type this command, and replace the package full name with a real one from the list. Let's remove the get help application for example. Type this command, and replace the package full name with the Microsoft get help package full name which is this one. You will have a command like this. Just hit enter, and the uninstall process will begin. It is that simple to uninstall an application package with PowerShell. But, uninstalling all the unwanted application packages can take a lot of time. So, I have prepared a simple script, which you can download here from GitHub. Check the description of this video to get the link. What this script will do, is to list all the current application packages, and uninstall those which can be uninstalled with the PowerShell command. To run the script, you have to enable script running on your system first, and you can do that by running this command in PowerShell. 
In the following question answer, yes to all. Don't worry. We will disable running scripts after we are done. Now, simply locate the script you downloaded, and drag it to the PowerShell window. Let it do its work. It will uninstall all application packages that can be uninstalled. Don't worry about the red messages here. These come from packages that cannot be uninstalled this way. After the script is done, let's restore the execution policy first, by typing this command and answering, yes to all once more. This will revert the execution policy of scripts, back to the default setting. Now let's see the results. Hit start menu and go to all apps. And there you have it. We have removed all default apps from there. Now you have a clean debloated Windows installation. This method works on both Windows 11 and Windows 10. What other applications or scripts do you use? Let us know in the comments below, and remember to hit that subscribe button while doing it. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.